what's the ultimate form of competition? A game of chess? A football game? Think bigger. More than 100,000 fans can pack into Beaver Stadium, but there's another competition at Penn State that is literally out of this world. Penn State was founded in 1855 as a land-grant university. More than 150 years later, a group at Penn State named the Lunar Lion Team is eyeing a new piece of property. Google has put up a $20 million grand prize for the first team to land a spacecraft on the moon. We're going to keep going. We're going to see this all the way through to the end, and we're going to put Penn State on the moon. The Lunar Lion Team believes that the development of new space exploration technology can lead to new discoveries with far-reaching applications. We're looking forward to space exploration and space usage in the future and trying to point Penn State in that direction. And this project is a very good opportunity to start that. The team has until 2015 to fund, build, launch, and land a vehicle on the moon and perform a checklist of tasks upon arrival. When we get to the surface of the moon, we have to play back from the spacecraft eight minutes of high definition video and provide a panoramic image of our landing site. Once we've done that, there's another requirement where we have to take off and land another spot 500 meters away. No spacecraft has landed on the moon since the former USSR's Lunar 24 robotic mission in 1976. And the Penn State team faces another challenge, one they see as a benefit. There are universities and researchers associated with many teams, but we're the only team that's led by the university. I'm proud of Penn State to be the only university-led team. Um, it just shows us just the drive and perseverance that students do have. I had to put my own future on the line, and I turned down a job offer I had so I could stay and work on the project. It's really a collaborative project that involves the College of Engineering, College of Science, College of Earth and Mineral Sciences, and Information Science and Technology, as well as the Applied Research Laboratory. We have access to students, students who otherwise might go into computer programming to get into the gaming world or into internet business, are going to look at this and see an opportunity to work on an interplanetary mission, to send something out to the solar system, out to the moon. Where else are they going to get to do this as a student? When we build this spacecraft, we're going to have the benefit of a lot of the resources here at Penn State. So I know that this mission is going to be the lowest cost landed mission to the moon in history. Each member of the 20-person Lunar Lion team is hard at work to meet the goal of their 2014 launch date. Step one involves designing their mode of transport. The spacecraft that we've come up with is about a meter and a half in diameter and it's only about 190 kilograms all told. We went for small, we went for straightforward. The next stage is to go to a detailed level of design for the body of the spacecraft. Once we've gotten through the design phase, it gives us about a year or two to build and uh, do the preliminary testing on the spacecraft, and then about six months for what we call environmental testing. The most challenging part of this mission is going to be that two minute period when we're firing our thrusters and landing on the surface of the moon. I am working on the part that prevents us from crashing into the moon. So when we approach the moon, we're going to be going in over 5,000 miles per hour, and we need to very suddenly come to a stop using a solid rocket engine. And the timing is a critical issue. With the objective to keep the spacecraft simple and light, the Lunar Lion team decided to make their vehicle solar powered. These specifications are explored in the Penn State Student Space Program's lab. We use solar power because it is one of the most readily accessible power supplies in space. And it's also really cheap compared to any other options you might have. As the spacecraft designs and development move forward, the Lunar Lion team has already identified a landing spot on the moon, a place familiar to those who were a part of the last human moon mission in 1972. So we said, all right, well, why don't we just, for the purpose of our study, pick one of the Apollo landing sites as our landing site. And we already have a first order, three-dimensional map of the landing site that we've chosen on the moon. 
I feel like we're gonna win this competition because we're focused on strictly the objectives. We're not worried about any flashiness. We have the minimal amount of subsystems to do the job necessary. So as long as we're focused on our goals, focus on our requirements of our system, I think that can't be beat. The Lunar Lion team has goals of not only winning the competition, but advancing the goals of the university. When we win this prize, we're gonna take that $20 million and we're gonna turn it into scholarships for students in technology and science. By establishing these scholarships, it'll be a means for Penn State to continually recruit the best and the brightest in science and engineering. The Google Lunar X Prize is only the beginning for Penn State, and it really will give us the credibility to pursue future missions. We're gonna be able to build for Penn State a capability to down the road, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 50 years from now, be a resource for private space research, for space exploration, in a way that few universities can do today.